What up? It's your boy Nick Incredible Man, and this is 911 Lone Star Season 3, Episode 9, titled The Bird. Let's talk about it, man. This episode started off a little bit different and then ended a little bit different, if you will, but not in a bad way because I enjoyed it as a whole. But we see that at the start of this episode, we see that everybody's in the firehouse and everything, and they're coming back from a call, and we see that everybody's kind of worried about Owen because Mateo brought up the fact that Owen is going on another date with Catherine, which I am excited to see. I love Amy Acker as an actress, so I really, really do. And I'm excited to see her back in this role, and I enjoyed her in this episode, no matter how brief it was. I really enjoyed her and seeing her and Owen together. I'm really liking their dynamic. But we see that this episode, Owen gets a surprise. And that surprise just so happens to be Ginsburg, his wife's ex, well, his ex-wife's macaw. I love the name Ginsburg, by the way. I don't know how anybody else felt about it, but I really love that name. And this bird was enjoyable the entire episode for me, man. But we see that this episode really held a little bit of significance for Owen because he felt some type of way because Gwen died. Now, he didn't like the fact that she left him the bird in her will, and he even called her lawyer to talk about it, but he decided to accept it anyway, but it also made him feel some type of way because, you know, him and the bird wasn't on the best terms, so to speak. And throughout the episode, we see that the bird is okay with everybody else except for Owen. And then as the episode progresses, we find out why when Owen kind of just breaks down because he can't really think of any kind of reason until he has the conversation with Judd and it kind of breaks down that, you know, the bird saw everything and saw how he treated Gwen and, you know, the bird kind of sent that resentment towards Owen, if you will. Like he saw how he treated Gwen and he kind of, I don't know, uh, f uh, you know, felt all the stuff that like uh, the anger that was coming off of Owen towards Gwen. And he reminisces about how Owen treated him because we learned that Owen called Ginsburg butt face. And that's how that kind of whole situation kind of came about. And at the end of the episode, we see that they finally have that connection. But Owen also feels some type of way because he didn't really get to say goodbye to Gwen. So he gets that that goodbye, that that whole significance of uh, Ginsburg being there with him and Ginsburg having the conversation, and he gets to say goodbye to Gwen, and he gets a revel realization that um, Ginsburg, you know, cared for him a little bit as well. But th I feel like Ginsburg's life was, you know, there for Owen to get past his momentary moments of grief. In this episode, because at the end of the episode, we see that Owen is going all out of his way to get all this stuff for Ginsburg. And the next thing you know, we see that Ginsburg died. <laughs> like, it wasn't a sad thing, though. Like, it was just, huh. Okay. I mean, I'm not hurt or anything. I'm more shocked and surprised than anything. But that gave Owen that nice completion when it came to the whole Gwen aspect. Now, we see that TK is still dealing with it a little bit after everybody like coming off of this case because Vega is well Captain Vega is kind of telling him that hey she knows how it feels you know to to have this kind of grief but he needs an outlet he needs to you know deal with it and she invited him to her grief support group and I felt like that was such a great moment for TK that was something that TK really really needed and I was upset throughout the entire episode because they mentioned it very early on in the episode and the next thing you know we don't see anything else about it until the very very end and then like all the anger I had towards that it kind of relieved a little bit it was I was relieved because we got to see it towards the end of the episode TK in that environment and it made him feel a certain type of way because we see TK with a smile on his face. He's talking about his mom in such a good environment, you know what I'm saying? And him and Tommy both, they're, they're dealing with some very traumatic events, but this could help them both in their entirety of dealing with their grief. And I feel like it was such a great moment for TK and Tommy. But let's talk about that case that took place, just the one case that took case this episode with the guy being in the military and his wife running him over. Now, super sad, by the way, but I'm not married. But if I was and my wife ran me over, I feel like I got the all kinds of power when it comes to like, well, babe, I want to remodel something. Nope, I don't want to do it. 
I don't want to do it. Or I want to go here for vacation. Nope, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Why do you keep shutting down everything I'm bringing up? Well, you remember that time when you ran me over with the car and I almost died? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't hold it over forever. But I mean, that 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 gives me, I feel like it'll give me just a little bit of veto power when like if, if we making decisions or something, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, can I say no? You know, because, you know, I'm still a little sore from when, you know, when you ran me over and I was stuck up under the car, you know, I'm just, I'm just joking, man. I'm just joking. But it, that was a weird, <laughs> it was a weird segment, man. But um, luckily everything worked out. And I feel like in that particular case, what solved that case was the fact that he heard his daughter calling out that dad. You know, I feel like, you know, boom, bam, it, that kind of just woke him up. And I felt like that was a happy ending. That was something we needed. I didn't want dude to die. Um, the rest of this episode for me, the rest of this episode for me took up the whole aspect with Paul and Marjan. Now we still have that one case that it kind of revolves around Paul aspect as well with the pet store stuff and the old lady. Dude, can, can we talk for a minute? That old lady. I mean, I know she had like a little parasite in her from the cat feces and stuff, but oh my God, that lady was not playing. She came right here just demolishing stuff, just tearing stuff up. She hit the little employee with the, with the can of cat food. <laughs> that old lady wasn't no joke but we see that paul has like a oh what was it it was some kind of disease i should have wrote it down but anyway he has some kind of heart disease and it's messing with him it's giving him night sweats terrors and everything and his his, his heart is palpitating a little bit now the doctor gave him a strict thing to worry about he could get the little pacemaker and that could alleviate the stress that his heart is taking. And in the long run, it could just, you know, like he could train and rework his body to be back to full health. But he doesn't want to do that because he doesn't want to be on modified leave or light duty because he has the pacemaker. Now, not, not a pacemaker. It's not a pacemaker. It's, it's a stent. It's a stent or a pacemaker. It's one of the two. I can't remember. I get him. Confu I get him confused. Either or, he has to have it, and he doesn't want to hear it. Marjan's with him all the way, and I love Paul and Marjan's relationship. I mean, they are ride or die, man. They are do they are there for each other. They are Bunny and Clyde without the crime. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they are there for each other, man. And she was just trying to be there for him, but Paul wasn't hearing none of it, man. And it was sad because I feel like Paul this season is, the, like, He's been a great character so far, but Paul is really starting to develop as a character. And we we know all the, everything is going on with TK and Owen and stuff, but like Paul is really starting to come into his own. And everybody's like, you win the third season. Everybody's starting to develop fully into who they are as a character. And Paul is just now hitting his stride, man. And the next thing you know, we're in a situation to where he may not be like an active firefighter right now because he has to deal with the problems in his heart. But he doesn't want to hear none of that, man. He shut it straight down with him and Marshawn talking to the doctor and everything. And it came back to bite him in the long run because he ended up passing out and Marjan had no choice but to call 911. And he wasn't having that, man. When she told him and he woke up and he saw that he had done had the surgery and everything, like he was furious at her for no reason. Now, I can understand why. A little bit because, you know, he told her and she knew his wishes. But I'm with Marjan at this point. You were passed out on the floor. I didn't, I, there was nothing I could literally, literally do. The doctors at that point, they made the decision for you. Because you didn't give them any kind of choice. Because you wasn't dealing with anything, even with the case in the pet store. Like you tried to, like when Mateo called him, like what he called him, the Hulk or whatever. Like you're trying to overexert yourself when you don't need to. There's no reason. We could have just waited for the airbags. But Paul is out of his mind, man. He left the hospital in Marjan, no choice. Now I feel like their relationship is on rocky ground. I don't see it like, you know, really just causing them to not be buddy-buddy anymore, but it's definitely going to be a strained relationship now because of what happened between them. And I don't like that, man. But I love the fact that he was, no matter how upset he was at her and angry that she, you know, allowed him to do that, he still thanked her. But he was just furious in all of that, you know, but he still thanked her. So I got to give him big ups on that and huge shout out to the writing staff for that, man, because a lot of that's something that could have just got overlooked. But that's something that they highlighted in this episode, in my opinion. This is your boy, Dick Incredible, man. Don't forget to smash the like button too. you can't smash any more. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. But only if you really want to, man. Peace out. Today, yeah, I
to win my thing.